And hello guys, welcome back to the bench with Gilly. Today we're going to be doing a rundown review of my buddy build. Wait for it, wait for it. Ta-da! Here we got a truck. Yes, a truck. Not a tank, but a truck. It says the LA Fire Department Recovery Truck. Kit number 3843, 124 scale by Italeri. You're like, wow, Gilbert's actually doing something different beside a truck, beside a tank. Well, here we got the LA Fire Department Recovery Truck. After the puppy's done, she should be at least 36.5 centimeters long. And if you want to zoom in there, uh, pause it, read those and the history of it. And we'll flip her over, same thing, 36.5 centimeters long. This is blah blah blah. Box says 2017 by Larry. And some pictures on how it should look when she is done. Side, well, not much different than the uh, top. And here we go. Let's crack her open. So I'm going to be doing all this live. No editing. Just straight to you. A review. Wide open. Oh wow, look at all that plastic. Uh, I don't know how they do this, but this is pretty cool. We'll get back to those trap tires later. So, let's move this over. Let's count how many parts we got. One, two, three parts chrome. We got the hood. Three, that's four. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! I'm stuck. There we go. Carefully remove that. Set that aside. So that's four, five, three, four, five, six sprues, seven sprues, eight. Nine, ten, we got a clear, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and another clear. That's fourteen. That's the box for everything on the floor. Not sure what that is. Well, we'll get back to that later. Instructions, all that. Here, let's look at the black color sprues here. There's two of them. This looks like the body frame. Got some leaf spring, leaf spring suspensions there. Usually that's the front. A couple of axles. Air tanks. Body frame here, here. Wow. Plastic looks pretty good. A little warped as you can see. Straight finger, more plastic. Wow. Alright, that's gonna be fun to play with. So that's sprue number one there. We'll slowly put everything back in the box. Yeah, the dark color sprue. Here we got the. I'm not sure what kind of motor's in here, but here we got the diesel motor part. We got some. Radiator, we got the radiator fan, we got the fifth wheel hookup, got some plumbing, that looks like the air filter, I know that. Here we got some cables, or yeah, whatever those are. So far, plastic's looking pretty good. Like I said, the uh, sprue trees are a little warped, but. Hopefully I'm going to glue them together. 
things will straighten out. There we got a yeah. That's uh, number two sprue, black, diesel motor. Move on to one of the red sprues. This looks like part of the sleeper cab. Plus the cab right here, sleeper cab, regular cab. A little bit of detail on the inside. Uh, probably won't be seeing too much of it. Not sure what that is. It might be a sunroof. Not too sure. Anyways, we'll get to that as we go along with the build. Got a little stress mark in there if you see it, but a little bit of paint in that will you won't even notice. Here we got some raised rivet paneling. Nice deep recess panels here for the the bunker door, the sleep bunker. Still, no flash. Going to the other piece here. We got a bunch of holes, so I'm assuming that'll be the top of the cab. Put all the lights and stuff. We got the uh, both sides of the doors. That looks like the front bumper. Must be the firewall towards the cab, the bunk. Hmm. Yes, another curb sprue by Italeri. Thank you, Italeri. And here's a little single gray sprue. Looks like we got a couple of tire rims by the looks of it. These must be the... Well, I'm thinking they look like are the inner tire to the dually there. I could be wrong, but who? Oh well, we'll see. We'll see. And the one that was sticking to the other part here. Oh, I'm gonna try and sneak it through. That's a little scary right there. Usually, when I find pieces like that, I try and tape them to the thing so they don't start bouncing around. You know. Before I continue, I'm gonna fix this. Just to show you how I do things, so. And just like that. There we go, see, look at that. She's gonna hold. So here we got the back end of the wrecker. Couple of winch lines, or winches. Some more here. This must be safety rail. Oh, there's a winch line right there. All made in plastic. Up are open, pretty plain on the inside of the wells. Here we got a few doors which can't won't be open, so I'll leave it as is. But other than that, plastic look good. Just a little sanding here, clean that up. Wow. Just for comparisons, here's my phone. An S10, S Samsung S9. So you can tell how big that's going to be. Moving along. Another red sprue. So we got the sp spades here. Usually dig into the ground as they're starting to winch something in that's heavy. A couple of gearboxes here for the winches. Haha, <laughs> he said winches. Uh, this must be the boom arms. 
Not sure what these are. So far so good. The spades look good. Got a little bit of teeth. Still no flash, so it's looking pretty good. We got kind of a little sag in there, but it is a big piece, so big long sprue that usually happens. They're a little flimsy. But other than that, it looks pretty straight. Keep moving on here. One of the last red sprues. Here we got the hood. Part of the fifth, and the part of the tow truck here, I'm thinking. Not sure what they call it. Ah, uh, these look like light hubs. Here's the hood for the engine part. She looks pretty good. Nice and clean. Works so good. So, that's the last of the red. Oh, I didn't see this one. Look, we got another gray piece. Looks like the inside of the cab. Couple seats, dashboard. That must be the bunk sleeper. That looks like a bed right there. Doors, door paneling, hood, and the floor bottom. Not sure what these are, but hey, we'll get to that when we start to build. Pretty plain on the back side. So far, so good. No injector pen marks where there shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm really liking this kit. I'm, I hope it's a pretty nice build. And we got some chrome parts here. Take a look at them, they're pretty flashy, eh? Hey? What do you say? Flashy. But, anyways, take a peek at that. What do you think? I think for my first truck, I think I'm just going to keep it nice and chromey for now. That's one chrome. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back. Here we got some stacks, plates, mirrors. These look like hydraulic lips. Bunch of lighting. Next one, we got some uh, more parts to the stack, smoke stack, a couple of handrails, footsteps here. Here's a nice grill for the front of the hood. Muffler stuff, yeah. Some more smoke stack stuff here. Yeah, this is a lot of chrome. Here we got the gas tanks, the wheel wells, wheel, wheel wells, wheel frames, some more chrome parts, another foot plate for something. I'm not sure what that is, but hey, we'll take a look at it when we get there. More lights. They need to be washed. Look at that. Anyhow, other than that, this is some rivets on there. So we got another chrome bumper plate. We got a long chrome bumper, curb bump. That must be the bash plate. This must be a regular bumper. Who knows? Uh, two tanks side by side. Glue them together. And some wheels. Look at them, they're pretty nice. They got a decent tread to them. Let's get up there so you guys can see that a lot better. One side, pretty plain. Flip it over, we got some. No actual name, but it does have some numbers and a few letters on it, so. 
pretty spongy or rubbery. So we get how many? Eight, nine, ten. Ten little rubber road wheels. Pick them off the tree like that, and that's how they stay. Just like a, just like grapes. Pick them up off the tree like that. So, moving along, here we got some clear parts. You can see it's nice and clear. Let's see if we can get, show you how clear it is. Yeah, I don't know if that helps, but anyways. Yeah, fairly clear. We got two door panel, little door, big picture window, couple of lights, more light fixtures. We'll put that back in the bag. We got another one here. Uh, oh, 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 wow, it's not open. Pour that one out. Here we got some headlights. See my fingertip. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, we'll get my finger in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that'll be nice. Get some clear colors in there, and you got some nice orange or red, whatever you want to put in there. Look at that, pretty nice clear headlights and siren lights, whatever. And last but not least, the decals. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. So, here we got some decals. Let me zoom you in for this. Oh, as you see, we got some regular white lining, dashboard, not sure what these are. You got the Windstar logo, plus some lettering here for Windstar, Heavy Rescue, Los Angeles City Fire Department, Black Rescue, Heavy Rescue in white, and a couple of plates. Yeah, and that's pretty much the kit. Decals look pretty good. But we all know how Larry decals go. You get them in the water and they kind of just fold on you. Fairly thin, but they still work. Oh, you just take a look there. I'll bend it over as you guys see. It's not a big card, as you can see right here. Here's a comparison to it. So it's all the stickers you'll be getting, or decals. And we'll take a quick look at the instructions here. So I'll zoom you back out. Oh, that was quick, eh? Got a little dizzy there, eh? So. Uh, Lady the Fire Department Recovery Truck 124 scale again kit number 3843 by Italy. UK, French, Italian, I don't know, D and then whatever. So placement chart. We all know what the black area means, that parts not being used in the kit. And it's a booklet style. You got gotta be five steps. What the heck? Well, anyways, we got quite a few pages here, so ten, eleven pages. So front to back. Page one, you starting off with the frame, front axle. You got a color call out. I'll just 
Leave this here. Step three, step four, five the tires. Step six, you're adding the tanks, engine, radiator, tires to the frame. Step boards to the to the gas tank, heading the rest of the tires on the right and left side. Page six, you're working on the cab, seats, dashboard. Follow the sequence after you put everything together so the cab fits perfectly into place. So one is the floor, two is the firewall to the cab, the bunk, three driver's side, four passenger side, then finish off with the front window. All should go fine if you follow that, I'm guessing. Step 10, more and more stuff. But anyhow, we'll keep moving along here. Okay, that's the cab and the bunk with the body frame put together. So, next stage of the build. You got one, two, three, four, five, four sprues. It looks like you were working on the the muscle of the truck, I guess we'll call it. The lifting and towing part. And that's one, two, three steps. Oh, look at step five for all that itty bitty parts. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, if I'm going to have it up or have it just sitting like that or just plain old having it down. But as I do build it, I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you, but when I'm, I'm done, you'll see how I'm going to be doing it. So, that was the Italy LA Fire Department Recovery Truck, other known as a Wrecker. I'm guessing this was, I'm not too sure if this is a 25 or a 30 ton Wrecker, but as I get to starting it and know more about it, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for coming. See you around.